Margaret Ruth Preston was born on the 29th of April 1875 in Port Adelaide. She was the oldest daughter to her father, David McPherson, and mother, Prudence Cleaverden. In 1885, the family moved to Sydney. At a young age of just 18, her artistic journey began, enrolling at the National Gallery School of Design under Frederick McCubbin, who was also an Australian painter. Margaret moved back to Adelaide with her sister and mother after the loss of their beloved father. However, moving back to Adelaide did have its upside. The paintings exhibited in the South Australian Society of Art. In 1896, she moved to Melbourne and enrolled at the National Gallery School of Painting. The painting, Still Life, won a free year's tuition. She returned back to Adelaide two years later and leased a studio. It was in this studio that she began teaching full-time and painting on the weekend. Inheriting her mother's money in 1903, she moved into a new studio. However, after this, her artistic journey went downhill. The Society of Arts rejected her still life, which she had believed to be her best. She left Adelaide again on July 2nd, 1904, and travelled on to Europe. Europe brought her better luck. One of her traditional oil paintings was accepted into Salon de la Solette de Artisti Francais. However, she picked up a new style in the Musée Gourmet, which was in fact a Japanese style. In 1912, Margaret and her now intimate friend, Gladys Reynolds, arrived in the city of London. November on the Balcony and Still Life Sunshine Indoors were exhibited at the new Salon in Paris and the Royal Academy of Arts in London. On her return home to Australia, Margaret met her future husband, William George Preston. Margaret and Gladys held a joint exhibition in Adelaide in September 1919 and made some of her purse pottery in Renale. It was at this exhibition that Margaret and William got married. Whether or not people agree with her work or even like it, it cannot be denied that her art is very important to the history of Australia. Most of her works were produced when Australia was battling through the Depression. It was a time where Australia had begun to find their nation's identity through the men who sacrificed their lives in Gallipoli during World War I. Margaret's art was also highly significant for the Aboriginal people. Aboriginal symbols were embedded through Margaret's work and had a very positive effect on Australia's nation. Although she was not the first person to use Indigenous symbols in her work, she did force the mainstream society to face the Aboriginal culture which was being neglected by the white community of Australia. In 2005, Margaret Preston's art and life exhibition was unveiled by the Art Gallery of New South Wales. It was the largest exhibition ever held of her works, including more than 180 original artworks. Her works did not just affect the Indigenous community, but the women too. Art had previously been dominated by men in 1929, but Margaret turned this culture around. She became the first woman to be commissioned by the Art Gallery of New South Wales to paint a self-portrait. Margaret also achieved a silver medal at the Paris International Exhibition and published an autobiographical essay titled From Eggs to Electrox. There are a number of people who believe that Margaret's work exploited Indigenous arts by removing Aboriginal symbols. However, Margaret changed the way Australia perceives art by empowering women and the Aboriginal community, which now makes up Australia's identity.